Hello, Bailey here from Funalytics, and I wanted to record a short video to support you with using UTMs inside of Funalytics. So there's really two ways that you can make the most of this amazing feature. One of them is to start with mapping and then add in your UTMs. In order to do that, I highly recommend that you have some type of legend or a sheet to organize your UTMs in beforehand. So this is just a recommendation or a suggestion, a template that you can use if you like that we've created. It's what we use in Funalytics. Basically, it'll just give you the structure of your UTMs. You can like the channel that you want to use. Uh, you can give yourself some reference by giving it a title based on campaign. Put the URL of the root domain here. Add in the slug that you will then create your campaign URL here. So these two will populate into column E. And then you can organize your parameters based on source, medium, campaign, content, and term. Of course, you can call these anything that you like, and uh, that will populate your URL string here. So if I wanted to copy this, and then let's say I was going to add this into a uh, Facebook ad, I would come into Funalytics. I would add step, so you can right click or double click or <laughs> click this guy up here. And I would go to mapping, source, go to my Facebook. And then what we've done right now, as you can see, the analytics are on. If I refresh the analytics, nothing's going to populate here because I haven't actually given it any parameters. Um, but if I did want to start to collect some data, I would go into tracking. And then I have two options. I have URL parameters. So this is what I'm going to use. And if I have collected this string here, like I've done, coming over to this um, column, I've copied this cell, and now I'm going to paste a link to add your parameters automatically. And you can see here that I have just populated all of these parameters. Now, these are not our actual parameters, so this won't actually populate any data. But just to give you a simple frame of reference, sources, Facebook, the medium is a paid. The campaign name I would put under campaign, the ad set name or audience I could put under content, and then the ad name or creative keyword I could uh, put in term. So you can use this in any way, shape, or form that you'd like. You can add in custom keys, custom values, and um, you can use as many parameters really as you'd like. So. That's one way of using UTM parameters from a mapping perspective. So starting with a mapped icon. Now, if I wanted to actually map based on data and I already have ingested parameters and I want to visualize them on the canvas, then what you will be able to do is uh, to add step, go to explore, go to traffic, and here's where you'll actually see parameters that have already been ingested. So now I can take a look and I can see, okay, Facebook. And I can click here, style, change my icon to Facebook, open up tracking, and I can see what parameters have been added. And if I wanted to add additional parameters, I'm going to look over here into the attribute explorer, and I'm going to look at various other options that I have. So I can look at paid, add PPC. So I'm going to add paid onto this. I can look at maybe campaign. So we'll look at uh, our retargeting campaign. And maybe I want to leave it at that unless I want to dr drill down even further. This is everyone on our email list. And then um, we can take a look at different videos. So looks like we've been sending people to a mapping GIF uh, as the creative that's been used. So we have Facebook is source, medium was paid, campaign was retargeting, content was all, every. this is our audience set, so everyone that was on our email list and our Facebook team is sending them to an ad which has the, one of our gifts is the creative. So now I can add as many of these as I'd like, keeping in mind that you want to make sure that they are a compatible um, sequence. I can close this. And if I were to refresh my analytics, I would be able to see how many people have engaged with that ad in the last seven days. So 416 people. Now, the point of this video is 
less about exploring this data in Funalytics. I'm going to do an entirely different video for that in the exploring data module. However, I do want to make sure that you guys are clear around this concept of UTMs. They can be overwhelming for people, but it's important to understand that there's no right or wrong way of using UTMs. There's literally just a naming convention that you want to apply to decorate your domain links so that you can understand where people are coming from. So I've put a couple of articles to support you in the hub. Um, this sheet is available in addition to another, an older option that might uh, resonate with some of you, including an Airtable option. Um, you can also just create any standard uh, Excel sheet or Google Sheets for yourself. There are also like utm.io platforms if you want to use something like that. Um, it doesn't really matter how you do it. It's just important that you do do it or else you will not really be able to capture a full understanding of what's happening through your traffic channels. So I hope that helps and we'll see you in the next video.